Look around any big city and you'll see dozens of plastic surgery offices or billboards. The number of Americans undergoing cosmetic procedures has dramatically increased, but what might surprise you is the number of men doing it. That's right, Dylan. When it comes to surgical and non-surgical cosmetic treatment, we guys are no longer finding it taboo to look younger with a little help. Keeping up a red carpet appearance is no longer just a trend for women or Hollywood elite. Men are going under the needle and knife for cosmetic enhancements like never before. A lot of men are, are looking at wanting to look good, feel comfortable, not look older than what they actually feel inside. David is a 33-year-old fitness trainer who started getting injectables after noticing his face was starting to look tired and a little less full. With David, he was starting to lose fat just basically in the center of his cheek. So I just wanted to restore that so he has a nice even angle. Men accounted for nearly half a million Botox and filler procedures just last year. And the number of men getting cosmetic procedures overall increased by 53% from 2011 to 2015. There's clearly more pressure from the job market. Dr. Grant Stevens is the president-elect of the American Society for Aesthetic Plastic Surgery and has seen a boom in the number of everyday guys requesting surgical and non-surgical treatments. They were telling me, hey, I'm, I'm out interviewing again. I'm on the interview scene and I'm 45 looking 55 or I'm 45 and I got 30 year olds chomping at my heels. To keep up with the demand in male clientele, doctor's offices are also undergoing transformations. When we cross over this threshold, we're entering Marina Manland. Stevens turned half his office into Manland, decked out with decor that is less spa-like and more sports bar to make guys feel right at home. One of the most popular treatments for men of all ages, medical grade facials to tighten and brighten the skin. I have 60% of women and now it's about 40% males, which is fantastic. A medical grade facial geared towards men typically includes a technique called dermaplaning, using a scalpel to remove the top layer of dead skin and stimulating collagen. And then an acid-based exfoliating peel. Glycolic is great for brightening, anti-aging, and then the 2% salicylic acid is what helps decongest your pores and help to reduce the size of them. No one knows they had it. That's a key thing with guys. With women, it's not nearly such a big deal. They're used to it. 46-year-old Dion works for the LA Sheriff's Department and came to Marina Manland to minimize the appearance of his double chin. I expect to get this reduced when I was younger. He's getting cool sculpting, a non-invasive FDA-approved method of killing fat cells by freezing them to death. Men especially, they have the fat they want to get rid of. They don't want the downtime. They don't want the pain. They don't want the stigma. They don't want uh, anybody to know. And cool sculpting affords all those advantages. The treatment takes about an hour, and Dion can expect results like these within 12 weeks. Of course, he's got to worry about freezer burn. Uh, Dr. <laughs> Stevens says the best advice he can give for any guy considering cosmetic treatment is to first find a board-certified plastic surgeon, make sure to talk to other patients, and look at the doctor's work to see if there are any men in their portfolio.